Isang makakalikasang araw po sa lahat ng panel ng PIP Cavite Research Conference. I'm Jumlito F. Ngkabo, researcher from Indang District, presenting my study with the title of Performance Level of Youth Poor Environment in School Organization, yes o, in the District of Indang in the midst of COVID-19 pandemic. In this picture, we may visualize what our planet facing and what YSO could provide to help Mother Earth. According to a report issued in 2019 by the Institute of Economics and Peace, the Philippines is the country most vulnerable to climate change. United Nations reported that the warming of the planet will hit the poor the hardest, particularly those who depends on agriculture and fisheries for income and subsistence. Since climate change is inevitable, the respective LGUs should brace itself for its effect and implement the necessary mode of action to adapt or mitigate its eventualities. In view of the increasing global concerns for environmental action against threat to Mother Earth and the consequent need it is important to safeguard the natural resources of the town. To continue, support the farmers that relies on their source of income and maintain the balance of its ecosystem. As Youth for Environment in School Organization, YESO, the only recognized environmental club recognized by Department of Education with the partnership with the Department of Environment and Natural Resources was mandated to conduct programs, here are four major literature considered to conduct the research. Two of those are deputy orders to create YSO to support and help environmental concerns and two research journals stressing the status of our planet. The researcher used descriptive research method using descriptive statistics such as frequency, Percentage, mean, average. The respondents of the study are YESO advisors in the district of Indang. The question is based on YESO monitoring and evaluation form administered by Google Form. The finding of the research based on the ADAPT YESO monitoring and evaluation form in part 1 YESO profile. It reveals that 13 out of 25, 52%, more than half of the schools in the district of Indang did not register their YESO club in the division office. It means that more than half of the school could not comply to Deputy Order No. 72, Series of 2003, to create and register their YESO club in their respective division. And most, 13 out of 25, 80% of the school just conduct elections during pandemic. Majority of the respondents did not have yes or kappa, with 18 out of 25, 72%, and that's why most schools did not submit approved yes or kappa to the division office, with 23 out of 25, 92% during pandemic. In terms of YESO members, more than half of the YESO club have few members. With 15 out of 25, 61% of schools have 6 to 10 members. Also, more than half of schools have only one stakeholder with 14 out of 25, 56% to support them on the implementation of PPAs during pandemic. YESO club advisors in time of the pandemic are not new in teaching. 10 out of 25, 40% respondents holding teacher trade position. They also have different area of specialization. While science and TLE major teachers ties with 6 out of 25, 24% each. It means that area of specialization does not vary for being an advisor of the YESO club. More than half 13 out of 25, 52% of them adopt YESO CBL. And while one of the advisors
In the part 2, yes of program, projects, and activities, implementation, more than half, 17 out of 25, 66% of the schools in the district of Indang could not implement yes of program, projects, and activities during pandemic. In the part 3, gaps, concerns, and issues encountered in the yes or implementation and recommendation and solutions, lack of communication and movement hinders in implementing the program that make it inconsistent. Yes or club strives to increase its members and stakeholders even during pandemic. With the help of schools, social media, connecting with members, and stakeholders become possible. The data obtained in this research may serve as basis for strengthening the yes of program in the new normal setup of education or in the time of unprecedented circumstances. It is concluded that in part 1, yes of profile, more than half the school could not comply to Deputy Order Number 72 Series of 2003 to create and register the yes of lab in their respective division and most of schools just conduct election during pandemic. Majority of the respondents did not have yes or kappa and that's why most schools did not submit their approved yes or kappa to the division office during pandemic. In terms of yes or members, more than half of the yes of lab have few members only one stakeholder to support them to the implementation of PPAs during pandemic. And yet, still, more than half of yes of labs conducted virtual meetings once a month. Most of yes of lab advisors in time of the pandemic are holding teacher trip position. They also have different area of specialization. Therefore, area of specialization does not vary for being an adult. In the part two, Yes, of program, project, and activities implementation, more than half, 17 out of 25, 66% of the schools in the district of Indang could not implement yes, of program, project, and activities during pandemic. In the part three, gaps, concerns, and issues encountered in the yes, of implementation and recommendation and solution, lack of communication and movement hinders in implementing the program that make it inconsistent. Still, school yes of lab strives to. The result of the research recommends to have district orientation or yes or advisors about youth for environment in school organization, discuss what it is, its function, programs, projects, and activities, and how to make it active even in the new normal setup of education or in time of unprecedented circumstances. Here is the list of all 10 references used in the research starting from year 2000 up to 2021. Thank you very much.
And again, isang makakalikas ang araw sa ating lahat.